ladies hello gents how are you guys doing today i hope all of you are doing so well and you had a great week a great day whatever time that you're looking at this video but guys onto this video we are going to have a conversation i, I don't even know what caption i'm going to give to this video but this video if you're a guy watching this video please make sure that you don't leave this place without sending this video to at least one woman you should know one woman in your life that you want to grow you should have one woman in your life that you really want this person to be happy if you're a father watching me please teach this to your child send this to one woman that you know just make sure that this message is embedded in the life of one woman most women don't set standards for themselves and the reason why women don't set standards for themselves is because they are afraid that if they set these standards, they will either not get a man or the man that they are with will run away from them. But what you fail to understand is that even though you don't set these standards, if a man wants to leave, he will leave. You can never stop a man from cheating. You cannot stop a man from dumping you. You cannot stop a man from leaving you for another person just because you did not set standards. So what you need to do for yourself is that you have to set these standards for yourself because when you set standards for yourself, you're able to go through life using those standards as a guideline, as a blueprint. Because say for example, you say to yourself or you set a standard for yourself that you will not be in a relationship with a man who is an abuser. You will not be in a relationship with a man who smokes. You will not be in a relationship with a man that hits on women. You will not be in a relationship with a man who is rude or a man who doesn't treat other people right. You have already set this blueprint and when you meet a man that does all these things, you already know for a fact that this is not somebody that you're going to go into a relationship with. But then, if you did not set standards for yourself, you will keep on getting into one relationship to the other and you will never find what you're looking for. Because a man will get into a relationship with you because he is transactional he will ask you for everything that he wants he will ask you to cook for him he will ask you to clean for him he will ask you to have sex with him and he will even ask you to give your life savings to him that is because he can ask you but most women what they do is they do all these things for the man the man keeps asking and asking and asking without giving anything in return and they sit quietly and in their mind they're like if i can just do all these things for him maybe he will do that one thing that i want him to do for me and most often is what is the one thing that you want him to do for you either to love you properly or to put a ring on your finger but what you fail to understand is this man is asking you all those things because those are the things that he wants from you but he's not giving you anything in return because you have not asked for what you want even the Bible tells us that you have not because you ask not. There are very few men that would do right by a woman the way she wants to be treated without the woman having an input. Because sometimes a man, no matter how good he is, he would treat you the way he expects to be treated or he would treat you the way he thinks that women are supposed to be treated. But then maybe that may not be your love language. I have another video that I'm going to link it up about love language so that you can know what a love language is. The man will be treating you thinking that this is how you want to be treated, but this is not really what you want. But because you have not made him to know that this is what you want, then you will not get what you want. There are many good men out there that have been with good women. But you notice that the relationship is not thriving because this man is doing his all to see that he pleases the woman but the woman is still not happy because she is not getting exactly what she wants so you have to make known what you desire this is the reason why you find most relationships where the woman is resenting the man and the man may not even know that the woman resents him because he doesn't even know what is going on in her mind. Ladies, what you have to understand is that when a man wants you, he will do anything to get you. Because he was born a hunter. I keep saying this, guys. 
If he wants you, he will go through any length. He will jump through any hoops just because he wants to get you. So you do not even know the value that you carry. You don't even know the power that lies within you. Because if a man wants to have a relationship with you and you say no, that relationship will not happen. That is because you have the power to decide if you want to be in a relationship with this man or not. And because you have that power to decide if you want to be in this relationship or not, you have the power to determine how you want to be loved and how you want to be treated. And if you're not getting that, then the only thing you need to do is to exit. Because most times women think that men have all this power. We are the one giving them the power. We are the one saying that take my bed right like you're selling your bed right for a bag of chips. This is not something that you want to do. What you fail to understand is that you have so much power and we are the ones selling our bed rights to the men because you can determine how your relationship is going to go because whatever you accept is what the man is going to give to you. Most men, they need a woman that has values. They need a woman who has set standards for herself because this is the kind of woman that is going to help them grow into the man that they want to become. And this is the kind of woman that they will commit to. Because lowering your standards because you want to get a man will only make you get men that you do not want. Say for example, Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Prada, all these stores, they don't lower their standards they do not lower their prices because they want a certain people to come into their store they don't want any tom dick and harry to come to the stores they want specific set of people that is why they have the kind of prices that they have and that is why people use their products to show off that is why people use their products to show that they have a certain standard of living. That is why people use their products to be able to show to other people. It is not always about them. It is not like they are getting those products because they want to please themselves. Very few people do that. But some people do that because they want to show off to others. So a man will go and commit to a woman who has values because he wants to show you off because he wants to be satisfied that oh he has somebody that he can come back to so when you begin to lower your values because you want to have a man you're going at it in the wrong way these thoughts they will not reduce their they will not reduce their price for anybody all of us everybody wants to buy something at a lower rate if I put a price tag for something that is 3 million, nobody will come and tell me that they want to pay 3.5 million. It's the same thing in relationships. If you say, okay, these are my standards, nobody will want to give you more. So you have to set your standards in such a way that people will respect it. A man will respect it before he can be with you. Because if you do not set standards, I keep repeating it guys, if you do not set standards, he will want to buy you for cheap or nothing. He will give you anything that you accept earlier on i was talking about how you get into a relationship with a man and you will give and give and give and give and you feel like if you give just one more time it's gonna get better if you do one more thing you're gonna win the prize if you just do one more if you move one more step ladies that is not how it works that is how we end up being conned or let me say we end up being scammed for a better word that most people will understand you end up being conned of your time. You end up being conned of your heart. You end up being conned of the love that you gave. You end up being conned even of your heart and money. Guys, leave in the comment below if you have watched the, the Netflix. Um, It's a documentary. It is called Tinder Swindler. This documentary is about a guy who he's called Simon. But this guy lives his life off the backs of women. So he feels like he's all that. And what he does is, when he's with you, he's taking money from you, spending it on another woman, and he's promising you everything that you have never, ever seen. He will take you out for the first date in a jet. And then you'll be like, ooh, this is something that I've never seen before. Then he will talk to you in such a way that will capture your heart. He will show you all these things, all this affection, just because he wants to get you. 
And when he gets you, he flies to another country or to another state and he's with another woman. So this is how he is able to keep women in multiple countries who are funding the expensive lifestyle that he has because what he does is when he knows that you're deeply in love with him, he starts using you to get your money and get even the money that you don't have because he makes you borrow from other people or from banks or institutions to give to him. And that is how he makes his money by swindling women. It's the same thing with relationships. You get conned out of your heart. You get conned out of all the things that you do. Even if you did not give this man a cent, but you gave him your time, you gave him your affection, you gave him your heart, and you gave him all these nice things that he did not give you anything in return. Most people say, oh no, these women in the, these women in the um, documentary, they were just being stupid. No, you cannot say that. Because when a woman loves a man, she can do anything for that man. That is why as a woman, set these standards for yourself. Know the limit at which you can go for a man. Know when to get out. Know when to use your senses. Because these women in this documentary, they were just, they kept spending and spending and spending on this man. He claimed that he was being attacked. He was being followed by people. He said he was a prince and he told them all this nice stuff. And then they got into huge debts, gave him this money, and he disappoint. This is what many men do to women. This is how they get you to believe that they love you and they let you do all those things. A man who loves you will not make you get into so much debt for him. A man who loves you will not cheat on you. A man who genuinely loves you will not use your kindness against you. This is something that we need to know. This is something that we need to educate ourselves on. From the movie, guys, we can learn a lot. You see that these women, all they were looking for was for love, friendship, and someone that they can be in a true relationship with. But they ended up being in ruins financially, in ruins emotionally. So when getting into a relationship with women, we need to be very careful. We need to trust our instincts. We need to set these standards. We need to do a lot of homework before getting into relationships because all of them are not all fairy tales. Relationships require two parties to put in the work. Relationship requires especially the woman to know what she's getting herself into. And even if you don't know what you're getting yourself into, when you find out what you got yourself into, do not make excuses for the man. Do not say, do not feel like you're going mad or do not feel like you're wrong for thinking the way you're thinking because you're thinking that because of the intuition that is coming from within and because of the things that you have seen. Please, ladies, understand how beautiful you are. Understand who you are and who you are. Because most women are doing all those things and knocking themselves out and hitting themselves at the head because they feel like they are not beautiful enough. They feel like if a man has come and spoken to them, it means that this is the only man that can talk to them. It means that this is the only man that they have to cling on to. But that is not what you got to do for yourself. Because even the Bible tells you that you were made in the image of God. So if anyone tells you that you're not beautiful, if anyone tells you that you're not worthy, don't listen to that person. Because you're beautiful and you're worth every good thing that can come to you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell. That way you know when we have new uploads. Thank you guys. I know that I love you so much. Stay beautiful and stay blessed. Bye.